Here is another problem that I made up. It's a classic problem, um, as old as time itself. I'm just kidding. So here a person is standing on a tightrope and the length of the tightrope before the person stands is six meters, it's tied between these two trees. But when the person stands on the tightrope, it bends down like this, a uh, distance of 15 centimeters, 0.15 meters. And the question is, what's the tension in the, in the tightrope? So let's just go ahead and start off with a free body diagram. So a free body diagram looks like this. I have my person, what long range forces do I have acting on the person? The downward gravitational force, mg. What other forces? Well, I have a contact force between the string, the tension in the string on this side and that side. So there's two. It's the same string, so they have the same magnitude of the tension, and it would look like this, T, T. Those two have the same, and these angles are the same also, because they're in the middle, that makes it a little bit easier. Now, the next question is, um, I want to I want to write down Newton's second law, but I need those angles. So how do I get those angles? Well, let's just look at this triangle right here. This triangle, I'm going to redraw it. So this, 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 not to scale, and that angle theta. So that angle theta is going to be the same as that angle theta, right? Because these would be parallel lines and they're opposite angles. I can't remember what that's called, but you know what I'm talking about. So I know this is three meters because it's halfway. And that's 15 centimeters, 0 0.15. And with that, I can say the tangent of the angle theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, so 0 0.15 over 3. And then I can find the angle theta. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. There's a way you don't have to do that. Uh, you could find the length over here. I'll do it both ways just for fun. Okay, so the angle theta is going to be equal to, I'll just put that in my calculator. I think that's the way most people would do it. They, it makes the most sense to them that way. So I have 0.15, enter, 3 divided by inverse tangent. I get 2.87 degrees. Theta. Okay, so now I can use that over here, and I can uh, say, what's the net forces in the x direction? This is one of those cases where we know the acceleration is zero, so we can find the forces. I'm going to write down the x equation. So in the x equation, I have f net x equals zero. I have a component of this force tension pulling to the right in the positive x direction, and then I have a, one of those in the negative x direction. So if I write that down, I get t cosine theta, right, because that's the adjacent side, minus t cosine theta equals zero. Can I, there's only one variable in that equation, but I cannot solve for the tension. I cannot solve for the tension because if I did, I get t cosine theta equals t cosine theta, so t equals t. Well, yeah, that's true is not very useful. Well, that's fine. We have another equation. We can look at the y equation. So in the y direction, I have f net y also is equal to zero. In this case, the y component of that tension is going to be t sine theta. And the y component of that is also t sine theta. And then I have the gravitational force minus mg equals zero. So in this case, I get 2t sine theta minus mg equals zero, uh, 2t sine theta equals mg, t equals mg over 2 sine theta. Let's put our values in for that. And then I'll show you the, the trick. So I have t equals the mass, 70 times 9.8 divided by 2 times sine of that 2.87. Okay, 70, enter, 9.8 times 
to divided by 2.87 sine divided by, and I get 6850. Just as a comparison, I mean, that's huge, right? If the person just hung from the rope, their, the tension would be equal to their weight, which is 70 times 9.8, which is 686. So it's a lot. It's a lot of tension. So you can't just, you know, do whatever you want. And the lower that angle, the smaller this number, so the larger the tension is. Okay, I told you there was a trick. I'm going to show you this trick. So you don't actually have to find the angle. Over here, let's call this distance R, because it's the uh, hypotenuse of that triangle, such that, I'll raise this stuff right here. We still want to find the sine of theta. So R is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 0 0.15 squared. Right, because it's the hypotenuse of that. Then sine of theta is going to be equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So that's equal to 0 0.15 over the square root of 3 squared plus 0 0.15 squared. So let's put that in for the sine of theta uh, and see if we get the same thing. I'm just going to do sine theta. So let's do sine of theta, sine of 2.87. And then let's do this. Let's do it two ways. So first this, 2.87 sine, I get 0 0.05. And now let's do this, 0.15 enter, 3 squared, which I know is 9, uh, 0.15 squared plus square root divided by. In this case, I get 0 0.0499. Same thing. Okay. Problem solved. The end. I'm pretty happy with that. Thumbs up with that one. What a double thumbs up do? That's a better one. Okay. Great. The end.